Good morning team, Justin here. Hope you're having a really good day today. Membership reward points by American Express are some of the best reward points that you can get in the world of credit card reward points. But they do have one area that they can be improved on and that's uh, redeeming them for a statement credit or some sort of form of cash back. You can usually only redeem a membership reward point for 0.6 cents a piece. But in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways that we can redeem these points for one cent or more in value. But there are some hoops that we have to jump through in order to do this. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Justin and I like talking about credit cards and reward points to get the most out of life. If you like credit cards and you like reward points, you should give this video a thumbs up and you should subscribe to the channel. Keep watching and I'll have a little clue for a secret word of the day. You don't get any prize, but uh, it still might be a little fun for you. Now I'm sure we're all aware of the American Express Platinum card, but we, we might not be aware of is there's actually different versions of this card. And they all have the same benefits that we know of from the traditional Platinum card or what's called the Vanilla card, but these other cards have other benefits that come along with them. Because American Express teamed up with some investment banks and they, they created these co-branded versions of Platinum cards. So it'd be a good matchup between the customers of those investment banks and the Platinum card with its luxury benefits. Now these co-branded cards, they have the same benefits as the traditional Platinum card that include the $200 airline fee credit that's eligible for airline incidental charges like snacks, seat selection, and checked bags, the $200 hotel credit for booking through the fine hotels and resorts program, the $240 digital entertainment credit uh, for things like Disney+, Plus, Hulu, ESPN, and Audible, the $200 Uber credit that's $15 a month in Uber credit, and then a $150 Walmart Plus membership, also with access to Centurion lounges, Priority Pass lounge access, all with that same $695 annual fee. Another thing that you should be aware of is that all these different cards are considered different products. So you're eligible for each different card and it's a different sign up bonus. Even though you would be spending over $2,000 in annual fees if you got them all, but you could if you wanted to. Now the big benefit of these co-branded cards is that you're eligible to redeem your membership award points into your brokerage account if you have an eligible brokerage account with one of these two big banks. And that's how you're gonna redeem your points for one cent per point. First card is the Morgan Stanley Platinum card. Uh, Morgan Stanley, one of those giant banks, and to be eligible for this, you do need a Morgan Stanley account, but that's a little difficult because it does uh, come with a lot of fees and minimum balance requirements. Unless you already have a Morgan Stanley account, um, signing up for an account just to get the Morgan Stanley Platinum card, it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit expensive because you're gonna have to fund the accounts. And I think the minimum is uh, about five thousand dollars to open up a Morgan Stanley account. And then there's gonna be fees associated with that. So it's not gonna be a way to kind of hack the system to get a second platinum card. But if you already have the account and you're funding it, maybe uh, an extra perk to get the second platinum card. I think Morgan Stanley is more for higher net worth individuals and not so much your everyday people with, you know, a few, a few thousand bucks in their brokerage account. E-Trade does have lower account requirements and lower fees associated with it and they are owned by Morgan Stanley. But if you do have an E-Trade account, those are not eligible for your Morgan Stanley Platinum card. But you are eligible for the uh, Morgan Stanley uh, Blue Cash Preferred. Sign up bonus on the Morgan Stanley American Express Platinum is usually 100,000 membership award points after spending your $6,000 in the first six months. But right now they do have an elevated sign up bonus of 125,000 points. 
And the biggest benefit is that you're able to take your MR points at one cent per point and redeem them into your brokerage account. So that gives a sign up bonus an easy $1,250 in value. Another benefit it has is that you get a free authorized user plat platinum card that has all the same benefits as your original platinum card. And if you were to have an authorized user on your vanilla platinum card, your standard Amex platinum card, those cost $175. So there's $175 saving in authorized user card right there if that's something you need. Now there's a possible way to get an extra $695 out of your accounts to kind of offset the annual fee of the platinum card, um, but there are some hoops that you have to jump through. If you have the Platinum Cash Plus account, this is like a money and market account where you keep all your cash for your investing and your savings. And if you have that, they have something called the Annual Engagement Bonus. That is $695 coincidentally. And you're only eligible for that account if you have the Morgan Stanley Platinum. But this account does have a fee of $55 a month and that's $660 a year. But you are eligible to waive that if you jump through a few hoops. You're gonna need to make $5,000 in deposits monthly into the account and maintain an average daily cash balance of $25,000 and have one Morgan Stanley online enrollment and an eligible Morgan Stanley investment relationship. And I just think that's like a, an eligible brokerage account. So if you do have the account, you're gonna get the 695 engagement bonus regardless. But uh, once you jump through the hoops, then you get those fees, the fees waived with where they kind of cancel out. So you're really essentially jumping through the hoops to get the fee waived on that card. Next is the Charles Schwab Platinum. And this is more popular and it's more accessible to your average investor or your average credit card user. This card usually comes with a sign up bonus of 100,000 membership award points after spending your 6,000 in six months. So there's two reasons this one's more popular. First reason is that you get to redeem your points for 1.1 cent per point into your Charles Schwab brokerage account. And they are much more friendly when it comes to uh, account minimums, deposits, and fees associated with the account. The card also tries to offset the annual fee a bit with a $100 statement credit on the card if you maintain a balance of, is it uh, $250,000 in your Charles Schwab account. And then if you have a account balance of $1 million or more, you're gonna get a $200 statement credit on your card to help offset that annual fee. Charles Schwab card is probably the better option out of uh, the choice between the two. Um, it just uh, seems more friendly. You get a higher redemption value and then you have a lot less fees associated with it. The third way to redeem for one cent per point is you're gonna need the American Express Business Platinum Card. This is a little different, but it's still a platinum card with a $695 annual fee. Comes with a sign up bonus of 120,000 points. Has a really super high spending requirement of $15,000 in three months. Card does have a few credits. Has the $200 airline incidental credit, like the uh, personal platinums, $189 clear credit, the lounge access. Um, also has a $400 Dell credit, that's $200 in the first half of the year and $200 in the second half. $150 credit for Adobe products, $120 wireless credit, that's 10 bucks a month, and then $360 Indeed credit. And Indeed is uh, some sort of service that uh, connects employers with people looking for a job and um, helps hire them. Probably not a service that most people use, but it's there. Now, when we have that card, 
We're also gonna need the American Express business checking account. And to get the checking account, it's just the same as getting a business card. You go over to that little business section on the American Express website and you sign up. You'll need things like your business name, maybe an EIN if you have it, income, and your uh, pertinent business information to sign up just like you'd sign up for a business credit card. A cool thing with this though is you can get a sign up bonus, 30,000 membership award points for signing up for this account. Just got to make a deposit of $5,000 or more in the first 20 days and maintain that average of $5,000 and then make 10 or more qualifying transactions in the first 60 days to get your 30,000 membership reward points. You're also gonna earn a little bit of interest on this. You're gonna get a, a nice 1.3% interest rate on your monies, no monthly maintenance fees and uh, it's pretty low on fees. And then you're gonna come with, a come. it comes with a little debit card where you're gonna earn a little bit more membership award points. And these points, one point for every $2 spent on your debit card. So it's not a great earnings rate, but for those transactions that don't accept credit and they only accept debit, um, here you go, there's a couple points for you. Now the way um, this checking account works is that you can redeem your points through the checking account as usual for 0.8 cents a point but you said we we're gonna get one cent per point hold on let me finish because once you have the checking account and the business platinum account then you're eligible to redeem your points for one cent per point now you could get both the platinum card and the checking account uh, either or but once you team them up then you're eligible to get one cent per point from uh, these two business products combined. The moral of the story is that uh, redeeming your MR points for one cent per point or more is possible, but there's going to be some hoops to jump through. You're going to have to fund some accounts. You're going to have to meet some minimum spend. You're going to have to, there's going to be some money involved to get this done. Redeeming for cash back probably isn't the best way to redeem a membership award points, but if uh, if your circumstances change and travel just isn't in the cards for you, for example, if you're just starting a family, you may not be going on a lot of trips. So it, maybe you do have uh, membership board points, you have a big stack of them, or maybe you still have some sort of business that's racking up a lot of MR points and you're not able to redeem them for travel. Uh, this may be the second best way to do it, or maybe be the first way to do it if that's what you really want. Here's a clue for a secret word of the day. Go ahead, leave that in the comments down below. And would you redeem your MR points for one cent per point? Or at what value would you redeem your MR points for a cash back or a statement credit? I'd love to hear about it. And if you're still watching, really appreciate thumbs up. Really appreciate subscribing to the channel. Then I want you to go have a good day, all right? Justin out.